What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a couple weeks since I actually did a thorough review where I'm actually talking in the video, but you know how it is, life gets in the way. I actually just went on a little road trip here over in Canada. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm back now and today I'm here to give you guys a review on the Nike VaporMax Plus in the triple white colorway. new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed today's video do me a huge favor by dropping a like on the video well let's dive right in the vapor max plus got released a few years ago back in 2018 uh, I'm not really sure the exact day and month but it doesn't really matter because it's a three-year-old shoe anyways but I ended up acquiring the shoe as a birthday gift uh, I'm filming this video right now on my actual birthday but my girlfriend ended up buying this shoe for me uh, over in Vancouver when we were there for holidays. And uh, the first thing that I actually noticed when I tried the shoe on was, damn, check out that air unit. It pretty much covers the whole outsole of the shoe uh, and it's all air. But anyways, when I tried the shoe on, the first thing that I noticed was how grippy the shoes were. Now, generally speaking, grip is a good thing, but I feel like if you have too much grip, then you could be prone to, to tripping. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is you just have to be careful when you walk because sometimes, you know, if you're not paying attention, you could trip from too much grip, if that makes any sense. Taking a closer look at the materials of the shoe, well, you know, I, I would say nothing about this shoe is premium. From a quick glance and just from holding the shoe in hand and feeling the materials, there's nothing really special. Uh, in my honest opinion, I think that the high ticket price tag comes from the air unit itself. Because when you compare it to other Air Max shoes, um, the materials, they're, they're really nothing out of this world. But you look at the amount of air in the shoe and it is more than any other Nike Air Max shoe there is out there. So, the upper is made up from a neoprene embossed mesh, which is essentially the same material that's used for a wetsuit. The cage consists of a white TPU, which also surrounds parts of the midsole. Looking at the toe box, you can see a layer of white TPU that covers the forefront of the sneaker. And coming to the back of the shoe, you can see that it's wrapped in a synthetic white leather with a yellow logo reading VM Air. When it comes to comfort, I can't really speak on it too much simply because the only time that I've actually worn the shoe was when I tried it on in the store. But as far as my first impressions of the shoe, uh, it's a pretty comfortable shoe. You know, I uh, walked around a little bit in the store and uh, it has a nice kind of cushion to it. When I compare it to an Air Max 90, it's definitely a little more comfortable than that. But comparing it to a Yeezy, for example, I'm gonna say that the Yeezy is still a lot more comfortable. As far as sizing goes, I'm a true size 8.5, slightly on the wider side. I went with an 8.5 for this pair and they fit me perfect. But because this shoe has already been out for 3 years and I mean as far as the hype behind it, it's, it's kind of died down, uh, you'll definitely be able to try the shoe on in person uh, simply because when I went, um, they had quite a few sizes available so I wouldn't stress about that. But definitely go into the store and try it on uh, as that will be the best test. I know y'all can't wait to see the on foot. And the reason I know this is because every time I go to my YouTube analytics, I always notice that a lot of y'all will just skip through the whole video and go right to the part where I try the shoe on. So let's get to it. But first things first, let's get the sock box. So because we're trying on a pair of Nike shoes today, I am gonna get a fresh new pair of Nike socks because well we don't wear Nike shoes with Adidas socks around here so I'm gonna whip these on and let's get to it
All right, y'all. That just about wraps up my review for the Nike Vapor Max Plus in the triple white colorway. To sum it all up, if you're a fan of the Nike Air Max line and you're looking for a shoe with a whole lot of air, then you may want to consider picking these shoes up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my review. And once again, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these Vapor Max Pluses. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.